Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Amy and I teach live online lessons and courses. Today in this video, all I'm going to do is just give a quick review of our Monday English Stars class. So if you weren't in the lesson and there was, I think, a few people who couldn't make it today, then this review is going to be for you. Right, let me share my screen. So again, I'm going to do this without any editing or anything, just to uh, give you a quick review of what happened. So I opened the lesson and welcomed everybody and we looked at this word said and I asked the children to give me a synonym for the word said, so a word that means the same as said um, and they came up with loads and loads of different words, so many, not just these, because they wrote on the screen and they, they sent messages in the chat as well, it was absolutely brilliant, we got tons of them, really good stuff. It's always good to uh, use different words for said in our writing. Okay, then because we're a fairly new group, uh, we don't really all know each other very well yet. So we had a go of the get to know you dice. I introduced a little bit about my family. Um, we talked about kind of different um, members of our family. And I can't remember what else we got. Was it pets we got? I can't remember what else. But we, we talked about different things. So thank you. If you were somebody who um, contributed and shared, that was really nice. And it's really good, actually, because the group is getting more confident each time, each time we meet. OK, then we moved on to a little kind of language and grammar warm up activity. We had this word, a sentence in blue at the bottom on the beach. The old dog slowly walked on the golden sand. And how this works is I'm able to give control to the children and they can take it in turns to roll the dice. Whatever dice number we get, uh, we can change or add in whatever is requested here. So change the adverb. So we'd be looking for the ident um, to identify the adverb. So here we've got slowly as our adverb. Um, so we could choose an alternative word to go in there. OK, and we did that a few times, came up with different sentences. And um, the children were great, actually, at contributing. And um, we had a few cameras on and we had a few people um, suggesting their ideas as well, which was lovely. And then I showed the children a video. So we've been focusing on dreams in this lesson. Dreams, the kind of dreams that you have at nighttime, not the ones that you kind of want to do in the future. And we've talked about the kind of abstract nature of dreams and how dreams can be completely random. Um, so we watched a little video, actually. I'm going to link a link the video because it's it's online for you to see. We watched the video and as the children were watching the video, I wanted them to look out for this. Um, so I wanted them to look for as many nouns in the video as they could. So if you rewatch this video now, I want you to have a little go of making a list of any nouns that you can see in it. So a noun is a person, a place or a thing. Usually we can have an a or an an or a the before a noun, unless of course it's a proper noun um, and then we may not have those. So the name of a person or um, a day of the week or a city. Uh, the video is really good, actually. It really, it's really very similar to a dream. OK, and then we talked about dreams a little bit more generally. And um, the children shared what kind of dreams they had often. And then we talked about like really common dreams that lots of people have. Um, hair falling out, dreaming about snakes, being late. Falling, someone said they dream about that a lot. Flying, being at school. Um, so I'm not at school. I, I'm, I don't work in a school. Um, I don't go to a school. And neither do lots of children in the group. But still, it's strange. I still kind of dream that I'm at school, even though I'm not. I'm um, not having any clothes on. That's a really uh, common one to dream about. Not being able to find a toilet. Yep. Teeth falling out. I do have this one quite often, actually and being chased. And um, a lot of the children said that, yeah, they have dreams that they are chased as well. So these are the 10, are they 10, two, four, six, eight? Yeah, 10 most common dreams. Okay, then we um, moved on to more of the writing part of the lesson. And this is a poem written by Pi Corbett, who does a lot of the talk for writing. Um, we didn't read all of it, we just, Focused, it focused on the first um, stanza of the first verse. We talked about any words that we weren't sure about, um, any alliteration we can see in there. We've got anteater, inspecting an anthill, 
oh no it was um smarties and sauntering there's quite a few in there anyway um, and the children were able to come up with their own alliteration as well which was quite nice and then their task was to draw upon their senses um, to have a go of doing a little piece of writing. So there were a couple of options here. Um, the people in the group who were more confident and more advanced writers were able to make a poem um, and have a go of kind of making it flow. People who didn't want to do that and they followed the structure of what they saw, what they heard, what they touched, what they tasted, um, how they felt, um, and what they could smell there as well. And I encourage the children, some of the more able children were able to give adjectives and nouns. Some were able to give a couple of adjectives to describe what we saw. Um, and yeah, we had some really nice answers actually. And like I said before, the children are getting more and more confident now to switch their camera on and, and share their ideas. Yeah, really good. It was a really nice lesson. So if you weren't there, I'm sorry that you missed it. Um, just drop me a message and then you could join maybe the Wednesday group instead um, or feel free to rejoin the one next Monday. Lovely. I hope this little review was helpful. If you've got any questions, um, just drop me a message or drop me a comment. Um, if you would like to join the lessons, then I will leave my Ko-Fi account, um, the link below, so you can have a look at that. Thank you very much and thank you for being here. Bye. See you in class.